Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try an example of how to solve a system of linear inequalities. We still have the rules on the board, the steps that we need to follow. The first step is to take the two inequalities and turn them into equations, which represents the boundaries of the regions that we're looking for. Notice there's an equal sign in each one of those, so the boundaries will be solid because the solution will indeed include the boundaries. So this becomes 2x minus 4y equals to 12, and now uh, we'll take the next one, we get y is equal to minus 5. Of course, that doesn't make it easier to graph them. Well, this one is easy enough, but this one is not. We want to turn this one into the y equals mx plus b format to make it easier to graph that equation. So we move the 2x to the other side, end up with minus 4y equals minus 2x plus 12. And then we divide both sides by negative 4, so we get y is equal to 1 half x minus 3, because 12 divided by negative 4 is minus 3. So now we have our two equations. Here's equation 1, here's equation 2, and we should label them. So let's call this equation number 1, let's call this equation number 2, so when we graph them we know which one we're talking about. We're now going to graph it, and notice the boundaries <coughs> will be solid if we have a greater than an equal sign or less than an equal sign, which is the case in both of these. So, well, over here, of course. So when we graph them, they will look like this. Here we have the y-axis, the x-axis, and the first line is y equals negative 5. So let's put negative 5 over here. And then we have a solid line going across like this, and I guess I'll go across like that. And I guess I should have put the negative 5 a little bit lower. There we go. All right. And then the next line is y equals 1 half x minus 3. So minus 3 would be about here. The slope is positive, 1 half. So that means that we'll hit the x-axis at 6. And then we want a straight line going across like that. And a line coming down like this. Okay. So we have a bunch of regions now. Look, we have a region over here. We have a region here, a region there, and a region there. We have four regions. Only one of those four regions will probably satisfy both those inequalities at the same time. Uh, let's see here. We want to know the points of intersection. Well, it's not a bad idea to find them, so we know what this is equal to. And to do that, we set the two y's equal to each other. So we end up with 1 half x minus 3 is equal to minus 5. So move the negative 3 across, 1 half x is equal to negative 5 plus 3, or 1 half x is equal to negative 2, and then we multiply both sides by 2, we get x equals negative 4. So when x equals negative 4, and y equals negative 5, and negative 4 like that, so the point is negative 4 comma negative 5 is the point where the two lines cross. Next, we want to pick a test point, like 0, 0. We can do that because neither one of the two lines goes to that point. So we use the test point, 0, 0, to find out if that test point lies within the valid region for each of the inequalities. So we're going to test the two equations. So equation number 1, and of course I didn't label them yet, so this was equation number 1 and this was equation number 2. It's always a good idea to label them. Okay, let's take equation number 1. And we plug in 0 equals, oh, not equals, we want to go ahead and put the inequality sign in. So up here we use this equation, inequality 1, inequality 2. And so we end up with 0 greater than or equal to minus 5, question mark. And the answer is yes, 0 is indeed bigger than negative 5, which means that this point lies in the correct region relative to this boundary right here. That means we don't want the boundary down below. We don't want that region, we want the region above that horizontal line where we have y equals negative 5. Okay, now for the second one, we plug in 0, 0 for x and y, so end up with 0 minus 0 less than or equal to 12, question mark. And again, that is a correct statement. 0 is indeed smaller than 12, which means this point lies in the correct region. That means the other side of this line is not in the correct region, so we can go ahead and get rid of that. Which means that the only remaining part, which is right here, is the good region. Yes, this is the region that we're looking for, the region that satisfies 
both of the inequalities at the same time. What's scratched out means it doesn't belong to the solution. And that is how it's done. your way. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, that's actually interesting because um, I would have trouble with that one. The reason is when we use less than, see the reason why it's a more difficult scenario here is we have a negative sign here. And we have less than or equal to 12. Correct, but like I said, I would have trouble figuring out how to do that on this one. Well, do it next one. Okay. I would say that this method is a much more solid method that gives you the correct answer right off the bat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's one of those examples where we have the 2x minus 4y less than or equal to 12. It's very counterintuitive as to which region would be the correct region or not. Okay, I'll have to think about this one. Do it, do it, do it the next way. Okay. <laughs>